me. Decluttering my Fabergast collection. Psych. I would never. You know this. <laughs> Today though, I'm going to do kind of a hypothetical Pat McGrath thick letter. This was a request from one of you guys that I thought was genius. I consider Pat McGrath almost like an investment for my channel, right? There's a large audience that I have that want me to do comparisons, rankings, show older palettes. So for purposes having to do with my job, I get to keep and collect my Pat McGrath palettes. But hypothetically, let's say YouTube is no longer my job. Pat McGrath is no longer a main brand of my channel. I am just a normal gal with, with an abnormal makeup obsession. But I gotta be realistic. This is what I would declutter. But thank goodness we're not in this situation. Let's get into it. So funny enough, my Pat McGrath drawer recently has really gotten cluttered because I feel like she's been launching so many palettes per collection. I can't even keep up. So at least I get to somewhat reorganize the space. So let's start off with these guys up front. I have a lot of these. This is from the Love Collection. These are from the Bridgerton Collection. None of these were an all-time favorite. So I'm going to attempt to be realistic with this scenario. Like, thank God I don't actually have to give these away. So I have two of these Bridgerton palettes here. So uh, I just love this shade so much. So I already know that I would struggle with decluttering this one. But I think I like this color story better. However, I am going to declutter this, hmm, even in a hypothetical situation, I am feeling greedy. No, okay, I would declutter this one because honestly, I, I like the colors in here better, even though I like these two colors more, the green and the pink. I love this as a blush. This is one that I reach for, I don't even, I don't, we're gonna keep this one. I would declutter this one. Okay. <laughs> now let's go through these Love Collection palettes because these ones, I'm decluttering this one. This is great. It's great to travel with, but there is nothing special about it. So I would declutter this one. I would definitely declutter this matte palette. It doesn't do anything for me. Very good quality mattes. When I had it sitting by my makeup collection, I actually did use it a lot. I used it with a lot of the eye glimmers, but Pat McGrath mattes, while great, there are a lot of other brands that also do great mattes. So that one could go. And then this one, mm. like I really like this individually, but holistically. With my other collection, this one also wouldn't be necessary. As beautiful as a color story as it is, not special enough colors. So I am taking back though, I might come back to this, but I think I want to keep this one now, which is also from the Love Collection, Iconic Infatuation. I said I was gonna declutter it, but of the three, this one is my favorite. And I feel like I could potentially travel with this one. So it'll be put to the side, still contemplating, but I might keep this one. Okay, these two are newer ones from the Star Wars collection. I would definitely declutter this one. As beautiful as it is, I felt like the formula wasn't as amazing and I wouldn't use these colors. So this one would be decluttered if I had to be realistic. As well as this one, there is nothing, nothing, nothing special about this one from the new Star Wars collection. Yeah. Now, one that I would keep also from the Star Wars collection, this is the last one. This is the one that has this color story, absolutely beautiful, very unique colors. Maybe not prime formulation, but I really like this one, so I would keep it. I have this one right here, which is the Divine Rose Luxe Eternal Eden Palette. And this is one that I would declutter because, oh, 
There's colors like this in the bigger palettes, the motherships, which I'm definitely more likely to keep. So this one does not stand out in the brand at all. Honestly, I consistently forget that this one even exists. So that right there would be a sign for me to declutter this one. Fleur Fantasia, this is from the very old Celestial Divinity collection. And this was one of my least favorite Pat McGrath palettes at one point. I would say the style, this color story has grown on me since I did that ranking. I think it's very pretty and pastel-y. But again, I would probably, if I had to, if a gun was pointed to my head, I would probably give this one away because it's really light. It doesn't have that Pat McGrath effect for me. So I, I guess, I guess I'd declutter this one. This one also came out with the Celestial Divinity Collection. This is Interstellar Icon. Now, I really like this because these tones are a little grungy. I would say as a whole look, I don't love this palette, but I think pulling these colors individually, they have special touches that stand out within the Pat McGrath line. So I think I would keep this. This one isn't an all-time favorite of mine, but I definitely think it deserves its place. It's one of the quads I want to keep. So I would keep this one. <laughs> okay, so I have some older ones here that I think we'll get through. These are from the very, very early Pat McGrath days. This is the Mothership Subliminal Dark Star. So beautiful. I definitely keep these because I feel like these are collector's items. However, I would declutter this one because it's very, very old and two because I'm not reaching for quite so smoky eyes anymore. So this one is going to be decluttered. And let's see this one. So this is the Metamorphosis. Now this one is very neat because it has like metal inspired shades. But again, Pat McGrath has so many golds in her line already in the bigger palettes because you already know those are the ones that I'm keeping as the bigger palettes. So as phenomenal as this formula was, if I'm put in this situation, the older ones are gonna have to go. I have decluttered more than I have kept, you guys. But here is one that I will definitely be keeping. This is from the Holiday Collection. This is the Celestial Nirvana. Absolutely love this one. You have pops of colors that Pat McGrath doesn't have a lot of in the collection, as well as you get the best value here. You get so much bang for your buck Pat McGrath-wise with all of the great formulas, the textures, the color story here. This one is one of the more unique ones in the line, so absolutely would be keeping this. Now, this one is an older one. This is the same age, if not older, than those ones that I decluttered. This is La Vie and Rose, but this is one of my all-time most favorite iconic palettes from Pat McGrath. I would love to see a remastered or more modernized version of this palette. She needs to come out with big motherships inspired by palettes from this line. The other ones that I have from this collection are no longer mine. They're my mom's, but love this color story. It's so beautiful. It's up my alley. So this one, despite its age, I don't care. I would be keeping this one. Now we have this one right here. This one has nicer packaging. I don't even know what the name of this one is. This is the Rose Decadence. So I am going to keep my Mothership Rose palettes over this one. And I felt like the formula of this one in general was just more dry feeling. So overall, there would be no need for me to have this when pretty much my Divine Rose Mothership palettes have these shades already. So I would declutter this one. Next, we have these two from the most recent holiday collection. I will most definitely not be decluttering these guys. These are stunning, a beautiful formula. This is Bronze Bliss. I am struggling to find out how to open it. Look at this. Now, these shades are not really stable in the pans, so I need to be careful about that. But I think this speaks for itself, just looking at it. The quality is phenomenal. 
obviously keeping this one as well as this one right here and even though this one is more rose tones the formula here is so special i will absolutely not be giving these up even in a fake scenario so we have these two from a past holiday collection now these are the celestial odyssey luxe quads so this first one is bronze borealis for real is i always get i always say it wrong i'm sorry so this one is very very beautiful but i think even at this point of showing you what i have you know i have these colors already so yeah i mean i would declutter this one i don't have an emotional attachment to it at all so if i didn't do what i did this one would be an easy go to make more space because this is also about condensing you know what makes sense and what doesn't now we have Deep Space Divinity. I'm kind of on the edge about this one. No, eh, actually I'm not. I already have a lot of these three colors. And this one, if a brand is going to do like a duochrome shift, they always tend to look like this. So I think I would also declutter this one, trying to be smart about it. Again, I just don't feel an attachment to it. I don't feel a need to have to keep this. So I think this one would also be decluttered. I'm being cutthroat, but it would hurt me if I actually did have to do this. Then I have this one. This is the or Voyeuristic Vixen Venus in Fleurs. 1000% keeping this. The quality on this is phenomenal really special it's in a beautiful quad form as well i love this one it's one of my favorites especially just for every day to reach for that i don't need to think too hard about definitely would need to hold on to this no questions asked there is an attachment to that these two are so beautiful these are from an older launch now these are blitz astral quads and if you're familiar with Pat McGrath, you know how important and iconic these are. So I can tell you now, I'm keeping both. This is Nocturnal Nirvana. And these are so special because they are four Blitz Astral shades, which Pat McGrath is very stingy about to begin with. And she came out with these one year. We loved them. And she never came out with them again. Unbelievable. Love this color story right here. It's quite unique. You don't get a lot of shades like this from Pat McGrath. So absolutely keeping this. And then let's take a look right here at Ris Ritualistic Rose. So this is also all blitz. And oh, look at this baby doll pink. So stunning. Now these ones, I would say I have more colors similar to because it is more rose, but it doesn't matter. This is a special palette in the Pat McGrath line, so absolutely would have to hold on to this. Sliding on over here, this is the last quad that I have. This is the Risqué Rose. So take a look at that one. This one I would also keep because I feel like this shade right here is so unique this works as a blush this is a beautiful formula and this is just a necessary shade it is a little on the cusp you know for a half second there when i opened this i was like i potentially could live with myself if i decluttered this but i i, I think it still is a special one so i would hold on to this and then the last little guy i have up front here is this amazing midnight voyage palette there is mostly repeat shades in here but I would keep this because one, it takes up no space at all. Two, even some of the repeat shades in here, I feel like are better quality than in the full size counterpart. And I love the look that this gives. And you cannot get a better travel size Pat McGrath palette. I wish she would come out with more color stories like these. The packaging is cheap, but again, this is as travel friendly as it can get with Pat McGrath and her palettes are not travel friendly at all. So that's what makes this one so special. The quality is beautiful and I love the color story. Now, as we're heading back here, this is where it's going to get difficult. So I'll start off with the remainder of the holiday big palettes. So this one is the Celestial Odyssey. And again, I like these palettes because they're good values from Pat McGrath. But honestly, I don't love this one from Pat McGrath. Obviously, it's a Pat McGrath palette, and I do like it for that reason. I like the quality. 
but I felt like I couldn't do much in terms of versatility when it comes to this palette and you wouldn't expect that because there's so many shades but it's just so warm not a lot of different looks that I can do I just I'm not as into it I probably would declutter this if I had to because this is my least favorite of the mothership megas now this one arguably might be my favorite of the mothership megas the one that came out this past year was also really good but this is the celestial divinity and i love this one because it's these like galactic purpley shades you also have some green pops in here as well i just think this color story is so unique and so beautiful I love this one so much. This one is a little bit more old school Pat McGrath color story wise. So I definitely would want to hold on tight to this one. Now that leaves us you guys with just mothership palettes. So this one's going to be difficult because I've said in many scenarios, I'm getting hair out of here, that these are basically my children. But I can tell you right away, one that would be decluttered on my end would probably be the decadence palette it's my least favorite oh geez it's my least favorite of the mothership palettes i've said this before i've done a rankings in the last couple of months beautiful quality i don't have anything bad to say about this other than it's just lacking compared to the others this is the only mothership 10 panner that does not have a blitz astral or special glittery formulation from pat mcgrath which instantly in my opinion devalues it it's also hard to create a full look with this palette because it also does not have mattes so i would get rid of this one felt the easy one out of the way now it's going to get a little difficult so we have the divine rose palette right here this is the original divine rose palette this one is stunning this is going to fulfill all of those other rose shades that i had decluttered because i said i wouldn't need it because i have this one and i actually use this one quite a lot surprisingly because it doesn't look the most exciting but it's just so great for everyday makeup so absolutely would be keeping this one next up this is the sublime palette let's see i'm not sure about this one let's see should i be cutthroat about this one my hesitation is with this shade because this is one of my favorite shades but um i i think let's be cutthroat today because i can be I would probably declutter this one. It's a little bit more basic. I really have to keep the best of the best. This one is great for everyday like office stuff, but I think, you know, I just don't like it as much as the others. So let's get rid of that one because we really want to keep our space. These mothership palettes take up a lot of space. Okay, so now we have Moonlit Seduction. See, this is not one of my favorite ones but I don't know if I have it in me to even fake declutter it because this one, what makes it stand out, like holistically, I don't really love this palette, but individually, these are some of the glitteriest shades that Pat McGrath has in her line. And I would say for that reason, we're not gonna declutter this one because it's just so glittery, shimmery, and there's not many other formulas that look like this and this foiled on the eyelids. So this one is worth keeping. Okay, Midnight Sun. So this one has grown on me. If I had filmed this video a different year, I would not be on the fence about this. I would declutter it. But now I just look at it as a beautiful, earthy, toned palette. And I love it. For that reason, I also really love this shade. I love that there is a purple shade in here. And these neutrals, like if you take away the side of the palette, what a great basic neutral palette. See, I'm looking at all of the other motherships I have left to go through and I just, I love all of them so much. But I wanna be cutthroat. We're gonna declutter this because I'm thinking like these colors I can get in like a Makeup by Mario palette or any other neutral palette. And while I'm gonna miss this purple shade, 
the ones that I see in the rest of the drawer, I just like better. So, oh, I really struggle with this one because this one has the most beautiful earthy tones. I really want to keep it. This one is probably the most difficult one for me, but wait till you see the other ones and my explanation. So we have Divine Rose 2 right here. First of all, the packaging, I got special limited edition packaging on this. So that is reason enough, okay? I, I don't care. I, I think packaging is important. This one is so special. The formulas in here are just so creamy. And I use this palette a lot. It's versatile because you can also use these shades for blush. And again, I got rid of a lot of those smaller ones because they contain colors that I could get in this palette. So I would have to keep it. You have this shade right here and this shade right here. It is also one of my most used Pat McGrath palettes. So it wouldn't make sense to talk myself into decluttering this. And then this one is a iconic Pat McGrath palette for me. She just doesn't make palettes like this anymore. I think this was curated like a genius, by a genius, honestly. So this is the subversive palette. In my opinion, one of the most unique and well curated palettes on the entire market. <laughs> it's as dramatic as it sounds. It's galactic, it's still fun but it also isn't too unapproachable. You can still get everyday neutral looks with this. You can pop the black face on, put any of these shades over top. Your look is gonna be magnificent. I need Pat McGrath to come out with more palettes like this. The most iconic Pat McGrath palette, period. Now this one right here, Bronze Seduction, was one of those the game changers for the brand. It really put them on the map at Sephora. It still continues to be one of the few Pat McGrath palettes in Sephora today. I keep turning these the wrong way. Look at this. So this one is great because it's suitable for all and any skin types. It has some of the best selections of the Blitz Astral shades. She curated this in such a genius way with how well it works for so many skin tones, the variety and looks that you can get with this, and it still is very wearable. I love it for the evening. I love it for the daytime. This one will absolutely, no matter what, be staying in my collection. Okay. Now we have Utopian Dream, which honestly is not more on the use side for most of my palettes, but these Blitz Astral shades are unique and glittery enough to Pat McGrath for me to justify keeping this. While it does not go down as one of my favorite palettes, this is a unique formula in all of these. I could almost just cut this palette off <laughs> and keep it as a quad, but I, I would have to keep it. You know, even if I'm being cutthroat and this is not a real scenario, I'm still not gonna let my babies feel left out, okay? We're keeping most of them. We most definitely are. And that leads me to the last palette that I have in this drawer. The original, the number one subliminal palette. This one for a while was one of my favorites. It looks boring, but it totally is underrated because these are such essential shades for every day, for shading, for contouring, the basic background to the most beautiful Blitz Astral shades as well. I would be keeping this one as well. Definitely couldn't declutter this one. So underrated, it's cool toned. Pat McGrath doesn't do a lot of cool toned palettes anymore. Such a special palette. So yeah, even in a fake scenario, you see I still struggle to declutter a lot of these. Let me show you what we did. Excuse the mess. This is just palettes I put to the side. All of these plus one <laughs> mothership palette that I have out here are all of the palettes that I would declutter if pretty much I had a gun pointed to my head. That's one, two, three big motherships, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 palettes. That's pretty good even in this fake scenario. Uh, that does not leave me with a normal Pat McGrath collection though, because that leaves me with like 21 other palettes. So still not realistic, but you guys put me in this situation and I told you I wasn't decluttering anyways. So anyways, <laughs> as I put these back in, 
I hope you guys enjoyed absolutely torturing me for this video because the best part about this video is I get to put each and every single one of these back into my collection. Oh, jeez. Maybe not this one. <laughs> I get to put each one of these back into my collection for me to use, love on, swatch on any time I like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You found it somewhat entertaining. And you know what? I feel like this video might have helped you just select what palettes that you think would be worth it if you are searching right now. So if you would like more Pat McGrath content, make sure you most definitely subscribe to my channel because I'm going to continue doing that. Don't you worry. And I will be continuing to build this drawer. So anyways, make sure you like and subscribe to this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.